The difference between the future we want and a future we fear isn't always obvious. Sometimes the smallest things can have the biggest impacts. Three quarters of the world's main food crop types depend on the most unassuming of creatures, animal pollinators. What is animal pollination? It's when an animal carries pollen from the male part of one flower to the female part of the same flower or another flower of the same species. This results in fertilization and the production of fruits and seeds. There are two types of animal pollinators, managed and wild. Managed pollinators include the western and eastern honeybee, as well as some bumble, stingless and solitary bees. The value of these pollinating heroes to crop production is up to half a trillion dollars every year. Many important cash crops benefit from animal pollination and are leading export products in both developed and developing countries, providing jobs for millions of people. The volume of pollinator-dependent crops has increased 300% over the past 50 years. But in Europe and North America, a number of species of pollinators have declined, with some being driven towards extinction. This is a potential threat to millions of jobs and billions of dollars in food. To avoid pollinator extinction, we need better policies, decisions and actions based on the best available science and knowledge. In 2016, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, launched its assessment of pollinators, pollination and food production, providing critical information for decision-makers in government, research, business and communities around the world. The result of two years of work by almost 80 of the top global pollination experts, the IPBES assessment presents the value of pollinators, up-to-date information on their status, trends, threats and opportunities for better policies and practices. Pollinators are important contributors to world food production and nutritional security. Their health is directly linked to our own well-being. Widespread pollinator extinction would be catastrophic for economies and we would no longer be able to enjoy many of the foods that are part of our daily lives. Pollinators make significant contributions to medicine, biofuels, fibers and construction materials. They are symbols of identity and part of our global heritage. Most pollinators are wild, with more than 20,000 species of wild bees alone. Wild pollinators are almost always important, even when there are high numbers of managed pollinators. But wild pollinator populations are declining in occurrence and diversity in parts of Northwest Europe and North America. However, we lack data on the status of most wild pollinators for the rest of the world. Where IUCN National Red List assessments are available, they often show that more than 40% of bee species may be threatened, with more than 16% of vertebrate populations facing global extinction. Pollinators face a barrage of threats. The good news is that there are many opportunities to reduce risks to pollinators, including actions based on indigenous and local knowledge. To halt and reverse the decline of pollinators, governments, organizations and individuals can promote sustainable agriculture to create more pollinator habitats, support traditional practices to manage habitats, crop rotation, co-production between science and policy and indigenous local knowledge, promote education and the exchange of knowledge between farmers, scientists, industry, communities and the public. Reduce pollinator exposure to pesticides by reducing their use and improve bee husbandry, coupled with better regulation of trade and commercial pollination. Since its launch, the IBES pollination assessment has made impacts on policy and decision-making around the world. 
At the 13th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, 196 governments endorsed the key messages of the IBES assessment, deciding to protect pollinators based on its findings. There have been a growing number of national strategies and action plans underpinned by the IBES report, with some governments creating a coalition of the willing for the protection of pollinators and the promotion of pollination. The IBES assessment also gained significant media attention. Articles in leading journals building on the assessment, and even a mention on a popular US game show. To save our pollinators and secure the future we want, we need your help. Everyone has a role to play, and the key messages of the IBES pollination assessment are relevant for each of us. To find out more, visit the IBES website or use your mobile device to scan this QR code. With the best available data and knowledge, we can all do more to protect pollinators and safeguard our food, jobs, and the future we want for generations to come. IBES, science and policy for people and nature.